What's up, family? Andre here. A number of cryptocurrencies have been all over the financial news lately. We have talked about a few of them on this channel. That would include Bitcoin and Dogecoin. Today, we're going to have a third installment of the cryptocurrency, and that is Ethereum. But before we get started, if you so like the content that is on this channel, and certainly to help improve with the YouTube algorithm, please don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscriber button, as well as the bell next to it to get updated weekly content. What many people don't realize is there are different variations within the crypto market. We have discussed Bitcoin and Dogecoin, and today we're going to examine Ethereum. So to get us started, what is Ethereum? Ethereum is its own blockchain platform with its own currency called Ether. It also has its own programming language called Solidity. As a blockchain network, Ethereum is a decentralized public ledger that is used to create and verify transactions. It also allows its network users to create, publish, monetize, and share applications on its platform and use Ether, its own cryptocurrency, as payment. The decentralized applications that many of the network users use on its platform is nicknamed dApps. In addition, since Ethereum is an open source blockchain platform, it has a number of multifunctional uses on this platform, including for business, financial services, as well as entertainment applications. The rationale for the creation of Ethereum is really very simple. Ethereum was created by its developers to be able to create and publish smart contracts as well as distributed applications, otherwise known as dApps, across their platform as well as outside of their platform without any threat of downtime, fraud, or censorship from any third parties. Often described as the world's programmable blockchain, it distinguishes itself amongst its cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin, by saying that it is a network that has a programmable marketplace that can be multifunctional across financial services, games, as well as apps, that is free from theft and censorship, as well as uses its own currency called Ether. Ethereum was launched in July of 2015 by a small group of blockchain founders, Joe Lubin and Vitalik Buterin. Joe was the founder of Consensus, a blockchain platform that uses Ethereum's network, and Vitalik is credited with creating the Ethereum concept and serves as the company's founder and chief public face. Buterin has also been described as the world's youngest crypto billionaire as he was born in 1994. Originally, the Ether cryptocurrency was specifically designed to be only used with the Ethereum network. But just like Bitcoin, it now has multifunctional uses outside of the network, where a number of vendors are now accepting Ethereum as payment. And that would include Overstock, Shopify, and PayPal. Of course, one of the main competitors to Ethereum is within the cryptocurrency market, and that would be Bitcoin. But an increasing number of their competition is coming from outside of the crypto market, as many of the traditional companies are now rushing into the market to develop their own software platform to compete directly with Ethereum and Bitcoin. Those would include traditional companies such as JP Morgan, IBM, and Microsoft. There are a number of competitors within the cryptocurrency marketplace, but it really comes down to two main entities within that market that dominate the space. One is Bitcoin and the other is Ethereum. As of May of 2021, Ethereum has a market cap of $500 billion, while Bitcoin has a market cap of $1.1 trillion. Ethereum has stated, that its platform can be used to codify, trade, and publish just about anything. And there are a number of projects and partnerships that are underway to be able to test that particular concept. Microsoft is in partnership with Consensus to be able to offer an Ethereum blockchain. The idea is that it would offer its enterprise clients and developers a single-click cloud-based developer environment. In 2020, another partnership between a tech giant and the Ethereum platform shows the growth beyond its original capabilities. Advanced Micro Devices, otherwise known as AMD, 
has entered into a partnership to be able to develop the Ethereum platform amongst a number of its network servers. The Ethereum founders were one of the first to use their own cryptocurrency beyond its original platform. Their thinking was that Ether, which was originally developed as a form of payment within the Ethereum network, could be used outside for a number of various sources. The reason being is that its invulnerability to theft, hacking, tracking, fraud, or censorship has now opened it up to a number of different areas from health information to voting systems. A blockchain, and specifically this particular blockchain, has had a reputation that is invulnerable to attack, theft, or fraud. But that does not prevent individuals from trying and even maybe being successful. In 2016, a particular individual was able to steal $50 million worth of ether. The project was nicknamed the DAO, was a series of smart contracts that were originated on the Ethereum platform by a third party developer. But here's where it gets really interesting and shows the power of innovation as well as community coming together for a particular cause. The Ethereum community heard about this particular theft and banded together to create another Ethereum network. What they did was invalidate the original Ethereum network, thus making the theft by this particular individual worthless. They invalidated the original Ethereum blockchain and created a second Ethereum blockchain. The original blockchain was called Ethereum Classic. There are a number of ethers that are currently in the crypto marketplace. As of 2018, there were 100 million ethers in circulation. It is the second largest cryptocurrency in the world, but unlike Bitcoin, there is no limit to the number of ethers that can be created. Ethereum is currently in the middle of a long anticipated and awaited upgrade called Ethereum 2.0. The idea of this upgrade is to significantly improve the platform, specifically around speeds, around transactions, because in the past there have been so many users that have congregated on a platform that has significantly slowed down transactions. Ethereum has much wider ambitions than Bitcoin and wants to be a platform that is being used for a multitude and wider use across many different platforms. However, it is not above some of the same criticisms that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies face as the popularity of those cryptocurrencies increases. One of the widely used criticisms for the cryptocurrency market, and Ethereum is not above its reproach in the same criticism, is the bubble bursting of the steep valuations that go along with the cryptocurrency market. You have seen Bitcoin be able to fluctuate as low as 3,000 in one particular year up to as much as 30 to 40,000. These networks and platforms use a vast amount of electrical energy to be able to mine its cryptocurrency. That is one of the major criticisms that is now coming from many governments across the world is the amount of energy it takes to be able to mine these particular cryptocurrencies. This is playing out in the geopolitical arena as China has begun to crack down on the use of cryptocurrency within its country, mainly due to the draining of resources that is used to be able to mine cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. One of the other major criticisms of Ethereum is the expensive amount of fees that are associated with using its platform. Users pay a fee, otherwise known as gas, to be able to access the distributed applications. The fees are based upon the amount of computational power that is used in these transactions, and the median fees as of May of 2021 was around $10 per transaction. Mining in Ethereum is also another arduous process as well. It is not a difficult one, but more of a long one. It takes around 64 days to be able to mine a single Ethereum. What are the key takeaways regarding Ethereum? Ethereum is an open source blockchain platform that is used to create, publish, and share business, financial services, and entertainment applications. Ethereum users will pay fees to be able to access the platform for transactions. These transaction fees are called gas, and it varies depending on the computational power that is used per transaction.
Ethereum has its own cryptocurrency called Ether. Ethereum is second in the cryptocurrency marketplace behind Bitcoin with a market capitalization of $500 billion. And that is it. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the history of Ethereum, where it plans to go in the future, and how it can have an impact on you and your money. If you feel the information that you're getting on this channel is valuable, please don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscriber button, as well as the bell next to it to get updated weekly content. Thank you for tuning in.